Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another new card. Every time I go out, I find one. Local shops around me are drip feeding me brand new cards. <laughs> Why couldn't I just find them all in one go? Anyway, it's the turn of bingo crazy. Not sure what's crazy about these bingos. I'm not sure that I'm crazy about them either. It's the old style by the look of it. I say the old style. The new style that's now the old style. Where instead of it being bingo, you're looking for lines. So two lines will give you three pound. Three lines five, four lines ten, five lines twenty. So I'm guessing you're gonna get one line automatically. Then you've got another one here where you're looking for a line again, and then <laughs> a line again. And I think I may have messed up. I bought five of these, thinking they won't take that long to scratch. Um yeah. I think they're going to take a long time to scratch, so I'll just quickly show you the back of the card, and then we'll get into them and find out what's crazy about them. Yeah, just because you slap the word crazy on something doesn't make it automatically crazy or wacky. It's it's still bingo. Um, one in 3.41 chance, so I've got a chance of getting at least one win. Look at all the different prizes. There is a gobsmacking array of prizes, all the way up to 300k. I would hope to get on the second or the third line. That would be nice. First line, meh. Second, third line, yeah. Fifth and sixth line, now we're talking. So five of them, five crazy cards, all from the same strip. Crazy, hazy. It's been like crazy golf. When I go and play crazy golf, it's the only golf I like. I um, I get excited. I'll get a clown to try and get it, the, um, the ball through its mouth, or a windmill and try and get it through the sails. That's crazy. Yeah, looking for a line on a card. Not so sure. Anyway, I'm moaning away, aren't I? It's because I miss the old bingo. I want the old bingo back. Let me know in the comments if you want the old bingo back. Let Camelot know in the uh, comments that you want the old bingo back. Because I reckon... I know Camelot's going. Let's let all win know. I reckon they look at the, the scratch card videos. They must do, mustn't they? So if you're the person from Camelot or Alwyn who watches scratch card channels to see how the cards are doing and how people are reacting to them, because they must, they must be watching these videos. Please bring back bingo, the normal bingo, where we go for diagonals and corners. Anyway, I said my bit. <laughs> I said my bit. Right, yeah, this is going to take a while to do, I think. 54 and 70. 54 and 70. Oh, my days. I'm going to miss so many, aren't I? 54 and 70. So please don't skip to the end. Keep your eye on me. And make sure I don't miss anything. So there's a 54. So I. Oh, is it going to be like that where you don't always get every number? Right, so I don't see a 70. 9 and 47. Got to work out as well. If I scratch off a nine up here, does that mean I won't have a nine anywhere else? Got to find some way of making this quicker. Seventeen and thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Can't see a seventeen. Yeah, it's going to take me a little while, I'm afraid. Twenty-eight and forty-one. I tell you what I could do, I could just waffle away for the whole thing. 28. Can't see if it went. I got a feeling the numbers aren't duplicated. 6 and 50. I'm going to keep an eye on it though to begin with. 6. And sometimes you don't get the numbers at all. Yeah, this is one of those cards where I think 1656, a lot of wins are going to go in the bin. Fifteen sixty. There's just too much going on in it. It's just too much. Fifteen sixty. There's a fifteen. Hey, my lucky thirteen and forty. Thirteen forty. Five and twenty-seven. Yeah, I'm not dragging my heels on this, by the way. 
but this really is going to take a while. 7 and 44. Remember, it's only lines. It's only lines we're after. And it says there, horizontal as well. So it's got to be left to right. There's a 44. I think the numbers won't come up more than once. 4 and 24. I can't see it happening. There's a 24. Almost missed that. 19 and 29. Ooh, 72, 73. Forty-nine and sixty-seven. So we're thirty-five and thirty-seven away from um, two lines. If we get sixty-five. It makes a lovely little pattern, doesn't it? On thirty-one. So thirty-three, thirty-three and sixty-five, and I get a lovely little cross cross hair pattern. Forty-nine, sixty-seven. Right. What have we got next? Fifty-two. Fifty-seven. I ain't got either of those, am I? Fifty-nine. There's seventy-five. I ain't got it. neither of those two numbers. <laughs> two and thirty-seven. Oh, well, we got we got a win on the first card. Yay! Oh no, we haven't. We need two lines, don't we? <laughs> oh my days, we keep swapping the rules. Yeah, so we need two lines, <laughs> not the one line. Two <laughs> thirty-seven. Oh dear. What you like, Camelot. Keep it simple, stop mucking about. Forty-three, so thirty-nine and forty-three. Thirty-nine. Eight and sixty-three. No, I got either of those. Thirty-five. Oh, we have got a win on the first card. <laughs> so we got three pounds at the moment. We got two lines on that grid. Thirty-five and fifty-eight. There's a fifty-eight. Fourteen. 68, there's 14, we've got 68, 66, clickety click, and 69, and last but not least, number 74, oh, oh, we got three lines. So because we've got three lines, we got five pound. Oh, that was a lot of scratching to get to that. Next one. I think if I do these again, I'm not going to have five, that's for sure. That's a little a little bit extreme, I think. 63 and 55. There's 63. Let's do the freeze. Everybody's free to feel good. 55. Five alive. Not there. All right, 25, 42. 25 is there. 47, 69. You doubt yourself. When you don't see the number, you sort of doubt yourself and you go, you're looking for it again. No, it's not there. 18, 65. No, can't see either of those. Oh, I thought there was another one under that. 24. 50 and 50. 50 and 48. 
and got a 44 have we yeah guys please help me out if if I miss a number and it's not a win don't worry about it a damn tab if I miss a number and it's not a win don't worry about it you don't need to tell me but if I miss a win please please alert me to it straight away 1420 Yeah, I'm going to miss numbers. 1 and 26. And 57. 38, 75. There's a 38. Oh, no, 75. Clickety click. 66 and 35. Oh, come on, you're going to give me clickety click. 28 and 16. Yeah, they don't do the bingo names anymore, do they? 16, 28. What a po face lot. Somebody must have complained. 13 and 74. So we have somebody complaining. 64, 2 and 5, 3 and 34, 8 and dirty knees, 33, we got 52 and 31 right. <laughs> it really throws you because you're like what, where am I missing it 31 52 I can't see it All right. 70 we'll just assume I didn't have it 70 right 39 and 53 Oh, heaven's alive. 7 and 67. Yeah, if I was going to design a card, I would make it so that every number was somewhere. So you knew you had to find it. It was going to be somewhere. So now I'm doubting if I've, if I'm actually missing stuff. 1346. So there's, don't get excited, Paul. There's our first line. You need two lines. 30 and 46. I'll switch them both off. 23 and 41. 23. And 59. So we just got the one line. It's a dud. Oh, it's taken me, what, 13 minutes before I had to say the word dud. Let's just hope it's not a couple more duds. 17, 55, 17, 55, down the bottom there. 6 and 51. Mm. 73 24 61 24 61 we got 54 and 20 1526 43 74 
the horrible feeling I've lost every single person who was watching at the beginning. This is quite an epic journey. 5 and 47, I'm definitely not buying this mini again. Definitely not. Five. Twelve and twenty nine. Twelve. Eight and eleven. Fifty eight, seventy five. Ten and forty eight. Would you like a story? Shall I tell you a little story about, about me and my boring life? 1360. Right. Here you go. Here's a little treat for those of you who stuck with me and didn't skip to the end. So years ago, when I was at school, 4966, there was like a competition, and it was to do with, um, what's his face? Beardy guy, Virgin Atlantic. Um, you know who I mean. You know, God, I can't think of his name. Richard Branson, that's it. Richard Branson did a competition where um, basically you just had to do a, you know, just a thing about the weather, 1945. So all you had to do was like do like, um, I don't know, a, a video or you could do like an essay or poems or anything you wanted. Now, me being the massive nerd that I am, I decided to enter 2859 and it was a, UK wide thing it was like it wasn't just like our school or people in my area it was open to everyone and um, I did it about um, the different altitudes how different uh, winds go in different directions and how you can navigate a hot air balloon um, using the winds depending on what direction it's going so you could go high if you wanted to go like slightly northwest but it's lower if you want to go north south you know what I mean it's it was you could direct change the direction of the hot air balloon by the height so I entered and I only went and won the whole thing. And I, to this day, I still don't know how I managed to win it. And the price was one of two things, 27.62. Bear in mind, this was a long time ago, 27.62. Because around the time that he decided to go around um, the world in a hot air balloon, failed obviously, because what a mad idea that was. But um, yeah, I won it. And the two prizes, one was a microwave oven for the school 42 and 63 which of course i weren't going for that what did I? <laughs> nobody benefits from my competition win <laughs> so um the other prize was a trip in hot air balloon so they came out 138 to Bretton park and blew up this hot air balloon 138 for us to go in a ride in it we could only go straight up and then straight back down because it was a really foggy day 7 and 68 but i can just remember the buzz of standing there going I made this happen. <laughs> so all the kids were there, and there was people over Bretton Park coming over and having a look. 1635. And uh, we got a line there. To this day, that was like, I'll always remember that moment of just standing there going, I made this happen. I made this hot air balloon be blown up in our fields. 3269. And um, I was supposed to go on GMTV, not GMTV. Yeah, good, mo good morning, TMTs. TV, yes, it was GMTV, and uh, unfortunately, the Iraq war kicked off, so they thought that was a bit more interesting than my hot air balloon win. But uh, yeah, there you go, and there's a little story about my past. 3269. I am the world's biggest nerd, I really truly am. I'll act thick, <laughs> but secretly, I'm quite a boffin, quite a clever little nerdy chap. 65, 51, 51, 51, 65, 51, 65. So what's 
what have you ever done in your life that's made you feel like that like my moment of standing in the field going i made this happen 5373 because i was really proud of myself <laughs> um and it's not often i feel proud about myself normally i stand there and shake my head at my sheer stupidity but um yeah let me know what you've done what's, what's your crowning achievement 6374 not saying that that was my crowning achievement but you know what i mean what is something that you truly loved and you're really proud of and you're not allowed to say your kids because we're all proud of our kids 20 and 62 20 62 20 20 where are you 20 excuse me a lot of balls that don't get scratched off <laughs> 25 28 25 28 i could say something really really dumb, but i'm just i'm just not it's it's low-hanging fruit it's too easy 7 and 29 7 29 so there's no 7 anywhere 44 46 44 46 44 46 44 46 and we got another odd lot of 40s 42 48 got a nice little square up there 42 I don't see you. Four and forty. Oh, sorry. There's somebody who always pulls, or well, sometimes, because they're a very specific person. Yes. Don't we all love specific people? There's somebody who pulls me up on my grammar, or how I pronounce certain words. Seventeen. 59 yes it's called an accent my dear it's called an accent i have an accent you have an accent 2643 and we all pronounce words slightly differently 6 and 21 6 and 21 21 34 61 see I can do it but it's an accent so I say 30 30 I can say 30 61 34 10 and 39 10 and 39 47 and 71 do 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 ba 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 do ba 11 and 31 that's exciting isn't it <laughs> 8 and 15 <laughs> it's just too many balls oh never thought I'd say that Two and sixty-eight. We got a line. Whoop 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 whoop. But it didn't mean nothing. We need two, and we don't have a sixty-eight. Fourteen, a fifty-eight. If we're gonna have balls that we don't need to scratch off, just remove some of the balls. Twenty-four, sixty-six. We got oh we got a three pound win because we got two lines. Ooh. 24 and 68. 24 and 66. Now I got all lost here. 24. Scratched off, didn't we? Yeah. 68. 14. 58. Yeah. Right, last little line, 30 and 41. Do, 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 do. 41. So no 30. Nope. 33 and 69. And 13. 
So we've got um, two lines for three pounds. So what have we got? Eight quid. It's the last card. Whew. I'm going to say I'm disappointed. Yeah. So, I mean, if I was designing this card, first of all, I wouldn't have to work crazy on it because it, it, there's nothing crazy about it. It's not, <laughs> not like I'm going, oh my God, that's crazy. The other thing I'd do is if you're going to have numbers that aren't needed, you're not going to scratch off the need, just remove them. Just have that many numbers. I, I like the idea ish. It's just not implemented very well. I just want me old bingo back. 1742. Want me old bingo back. 17. 42. And I think a lot of winning cards are going to go in the bin. 17. 42. 7 and 28. 7 and 28. 12 and 41. 12. 41. Let's go down a Let's get a bit like that snake game. Let's go around. 26, 64. 26, 64. We got a 70 and we got a 32. I'm getting into my stride now. 46, 51. See, I'm quite confident if I'm actually scratching the balls. 62, 66, 62, 66, but like there, I have to double check. I haven't missed 62. 75, 36, 72, 75, 36. nice to get a win somewhere else, just to scratch one of these off, especially the multiply one. That'd be nice. Eight and 67. Eight. Seriously, seven. Yeah, I want to bring back Bingo Sunday, forty-four seventy-three, but I just can't do it with these sort of cards. Forty-four seventy-three. What well, we got? Fifty-eight and fifty-three. Fifty-three, fifty-eight, and then we got twenty-nine forty-seven. And it's three and twenty-four. Six and thirty-one. <sighs> thirty-three, forty-nine, thirty-three. Fourteen fifty-seven. Go on, number one. This this have a win on here. 57, 9 and 34, 71, 74, 15, 59, I was wondering when we was going to get our line, so there's a line, doesn't give us an out, and last ball, to be scratched is number five, which is no win. So we got three duds to get two wins. So remember, fifteen pound in play. And we got a half hour of scratching. So I tell you what, you do get money for money. Um, fifteen pound of cards. We got three lines, which is five pound, and we got two lines, which is three pounds. So eight pound back. So eight pound back from fifteen pound is seven pound down, and you only get to scratch the multiplier. Sorry. You only get to scratch the multiplier 
if you win in game number three. So for anyone who goes, oh, you didn't scratch the multiplier, it doesn't apply unless the win was down there. We won in game one, which has no multiplier. Well, there you go then. So um, let me know what you think to these cards. Um, do you think they're crazy? I think you'd be crazy to uh, scratch a full pack of these. Um, yeah, that, that would be an epic video to watch. It took me half hour to do five, and there's 60 in a pack. So times half hour by six hours. Oh, my days, yeah. Right, anyway, um, look after yourself and those you love, and I'll see you in another video real soon. Cheer, everyone. Bye.